Good morning, everybody. My name is Paula Harvey, the Vice President of the SciFair Chamber of Commerce. So excited to be here with Angela Irvin from the Chamber as well, and um, Dr. Jordan Carroll uh, from Invictus Chiropractic. How are you? I'm doing well. It's a good morning. It's nice and warm here in Texas. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. We're so excited to have you on this and um, hear more about what you're doing. What are you doing? Tell us what you've been challenged with and all since this COVID and this pandemic. And uh, um, how's your business going? What's going on? Yeah, what it's, um, it's been interesting. You know, we're, we're two and a half years into practice here. Um, it's mm -hmm. different, right? Um, that you have different things coming your way. So when this all started, what, like mid-March? Is that really when it started? Yeah. Um, we were really looking, hey, what's gonna happen? We had people asking us, hey, have you heard about this new virus that's coming around? And obviously being in the healthcare field, people ask you about so many things. So one guy in particular um, works for an airline and he was like, hey, we're having to clean our, our planes right now because we have people from all over the world I'm like, yeah, that's a, you know, keep everything sanitary. That's awesome. I, I made a joke. Do you guys not do that already? <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, and, and then kind of things went crazy, right? Um, the whole world shut down and people, it was the unknown. I think that was the scary part, right? Um, we had, we probably saw a 20% decrease um, in business, close to 20%. Um, and we're like, what is gonna happen, right? All these new recommendations coming out, um, guidelines that you have to do um, as a healthcare practice. Luckily for us, we never shut down. Um, we were considered essential, like a lot of other businesses that were essential, um, just making, and thankfully, keeping this world afloat. Um, there's ways of doing things safely, obviously, right? Um, but we got to serve people, uh, but it really, it changed how we did things, um, how we cleaned, how we, you know, with the social distancing, you had to spread people apart. So we had ways that we could still um, serve people, thankfully, and be able to do it in a really respectful manner, in a safe manner as well. So what words of encouragement would you give to business owners right now who have had a 20% decrease in business or lower during this time? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing I would say um, is confront your lenses. You know, being in practice, um, we have all these chamber members, right, that have been in practice for 10, 15, 20 years, and they've always done that way years, right? They've done it that way. It's what, it's what works. Um, being in practice here for less, you know, a little over two years, We've done things so many different ways and they've all worked, which is a really good way. So I would say confront your lenses, how you do that. Um, we always put these lenses on um, and, and that's how you do it, right? We all, but you, we all look at the same stars, but we all see something different and you have to remember that, right? Everyone has different circumstances, different things that they've been through in life. Um, and you really have to mold to the people and it's not about you, it's about who you're serving and that's one of the biggest things so we had people that were scared during this time obviously didn't want to come in they're like hey i'm you know i'm 80 years old i'm not leaving my house it, and we have to meet them where they totally agree um but it comes to a point where it challenges your health you know right now we're seeing people that are um an increase in like depression people are isolated job losses, uh, some people know people that have, have died during this time, whether COVID related or not. I mean, the stats are pretty astounding. We're still only at like 1,600 deaths here in Texas, which I mean, COVID or not, that's pretty, pretty remarkable. I mean, people have comorbidities, but we have so many healthcare systems here um, in Houston, because we are one of the leading you know, um, cities in the world for that. And our hospitals have not been overwhelmed. Well, I think we really attack that in a really good way. Um, but there comes to a point where, where's it going to end? Because now um, we, we do have patients that um, oversee over 15 hospitals here in Houston. And they're like, we're, we're laying off doctors right now because we don't have patients. 
patients are just scared to come in for um, elective surgeries. So people's health are, are failing. They're getting sicker and sicker and they're dying earlier. Now, what comes with depression? That this leads over time, chemical imbalances into the brain, right? So what are they gonna do? You can take a medication, but that does cover up the symptoms. And we talk about that all the time, right? Um, there's a time and place for it, but it always it doesn't need to be that that first thing that you go to. And unfortunately, you're going to see a rise because of that um, here. So that's kind of one of our challenges. And you really have to meet people where they're at. So um, to answer your question, uh, you definitely want to meet the people, right? What are what are they going to get out of this? Not you. Um, what are your belief systems? Why did you go into into your business in the first place. I think that's one thing that you really have to look at yourself and check because if you haven't really um, reflected on that 30,000 foot view of what you were trying to accomplish, um, it, it can easily be lost. So as a business owner, try to see where the world's at right now. People. I, I so agree. It's really, you have to do what's best for them and where they're at right now and try to service them. So. I agree with you so much, Dr. Carroll. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, you were asking, Paula, how our business is done. Overall, we've actually had an increase in the past two months in practice members, which has been awesome. And it's all, wow. it's awesome. been more just communication, you know, telling people, hey, this is what's happening, this is what can happen. And it's not a scare tactic, right? We talk about all these things for empowerment, so you guys are educated. Right? So everyone in our community, are we leaving them better or worse when, whenever we get to talk to them? Right? If you are educated in all the information, you get to decide and make, it, make those educated decisions. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You're such a great chiropractor. You are. Nice. Um, Angela and I can both testify for that. And uh, so happy to have you in the chamber. It, it is so important to pivot. You've got, you think outside the box. Yeah. You've got an innovative, great team. And and you're doing well. We're so glad you're doing so well. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. We, we appreciate it. And it's so good to see you. Hopefully yeah, we we'll get to see each other in person more often. I know. I, I'm excited for our team. You guys are doing a great job. Um, excited to be a part of this chamber. I mean, if I could say anything, I mean, you guys are at the forefront, keeping this community together. Seriously. So thank you guys. Well, thank thank you. you. Have a great day. Yeah.